Are you thinking about moving to Irving, Texas? In this video, I'm going to share everything you need to know about moving to Irving. Hi, I'm Keela McGraw, your favorite Dallas-Fort Worth realtor. And with a population of just over 250,000 people, Irving, Texas has a lot to offer both residents and visitors. And it's actually catching a lot of folks' eyes when it comes to where to relocate in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So we're seeing Irving growing in popularity. In fact, niche.com ranked Irving as the 33rd best place to live in America. So I'm going to share some things you need to know about living in Irving. We're going to cover cost of living, location, schools, crime, and of course we have to talk about housing. So definitely stay with us until the end. So let's get started with where Irving is located. It is centrally located between Dallas and Fort Worth. I would say it's northwest of Dallas and further northeast from Fort Worth. It's actually just kind of northeast of Arlington. I'd say definitely Irving is one of those locations that has easy highway access. I think because it is smack dab in the middle of Arlington and Dallas, you have several highways that run through Irving. You have Highway 183 that runs east and west through the center of Irving. You have 635, Highway 114, and of course, the President George Bush Turnpike. So Irving is about 10 minutes from DFW Airport, which is great, and about 20 minutes to Dallas Love Field Airport. So you have both options if you fly either Southwest or one of the other carriers. Irving's location is also ideal as far as commute time because it's about 20 minutes to downtown Dallas and about 30 minutes to downtown Fort Worth. So with that, of course, during those peak travel times, rush hour and that morning traffic, the highways will be congested. So you might run into traffic, but just know there are several thoroughfares that go through Irving. And so the commute times to those designated downtown areas is workable. Another great thing about Irving is that you have access to DART, which is Dallas's public transportation system. It's a train or a bus that you can get access to from Irving. So if you don't want to travel by car, you can definitely reduce your print on the environment and utilize DART to get to downtown Dallas. Another cool thing about living in Irving is that there is plenty to do. And of course you want to live in a city to where you don't have to travel too far to have a good time. Irving has 80 parks with over 2,000 acres of land that's maintained by the Parks and Recreation Department. You have activities that you can do in the city that include hiking or biking trails. You have sports of all kinds. You have fishing, you have swimming, you can do canoeing or kayaking. Another big attraction is the Toyota Music Factory. And the Toyota Music Factory is a huge entertainment hub. It's an open air pavilion with live music. They have restaurants, they have bars. So just a good time. You have definitely a lot of artists that come through and perform there. And believe it or not, Irving also has a lake. So there's Lake Carolyn. You're also only about 20 to 25 minutes to Arlington's entertainment district. So you can still go check out a Cowboys game or the Texas Rangers, or even go to Texas Live. You're still within under 30 minutes to get there. And another cool thing you can do is enjoy a staycation. And you can enjoy this staycation at the Las Colinas Resort, which used to be the Four Seasons Hotel. Or you can go to the Omni Las Colinas Hotel as well. Tori and I definitely have our little staycations there and it really does feel like you are leaving your home. <laughs> if you're considering relocating to Irving, you definitely want to know about the shopping in the city. Irving has the big box stores, but it also has those cute boutiques in the mom and pop restaurants and stores that you can enjoy. There's a Whole Foods there, so you won't miss out on any of those specialty food items that aren't available in every other store. But you also have your standard grocery stores like your Walmarts and your Targets and things like that. Now, when it comes to malls, there is the Irving Mall, which is definitely older. It's definitely one of those older school or old school malls, but it has things that you need when you need to look for specific things when going to a mall. And again, one of the great things about living in Irving is its location. So you can easily get to some of those other fine dining options 
or shopping options that you may enjoy that are in city surrounding Irving. Irving Independent School District has an overall accountability rating of a B from the Texas Education Agency with 84 out of 100. It's made up of 37 schools. They serve over 32,000 students. So it is a smaller district, which a lot of people prefer. In fact, the, even the student-teacher ratio is only like 14 to one, which is really, really good if you think about the class size for students. And if you don't want to go the public school or independent school district route, you also have private schools as well as charter schools to choose from. When people contact me about relocating to the area and trying to decide on a city, one of the most asked about topics that comes up is crime. When it comes to crime, according to niche.com, Irving's crime and safety rating is a C. And also on crimegrade.org, it has a D rating. Now I will say I love the transparency of the Irving Police Department because they do have like a crime heat map. So you can obviously go there and see what types of crimes are going on and where those crimes are happening. And I think that's very important when you're considering moving to a city to be able to utilize something like that as you make that decision on where you want to live. One of the things attracting a lot of people relocating to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and Irving is no exception, is the lower cost of living. So Irving's overall cost of living is about 3% higher than the national average. Honestly, I don't think that's that bad um, when you think about the location and all that Irving really does have to offer. And for most of us, housing is usually the biggest expense. So when it comes to relocating to Irving, you're gonna be paying a little bit less than the national average. In fact, Irving's housing prices are about 4% lower than the national average. As of April, 2023, the median price of a home in Irving is $375,000. That is actually right in line with the entire Dallas-Fort Worth area. Now, $375,000 will get you a about a 1,500 to 2,000 square foot home with three bedrooms, maybe two to three bathrooms. Most of the homes in Irving are older, but there are some that are newer. The prices can range from, you have anything from the $300,000 range up to like the million dollar range. Do you have any questions about Irving or the surrounding areas? Give me a call, text, or email, and I'll see you in the next video.